19 said that he denied all the allegations of sexual misconduct and later then said actually there have been times that his sexual conduct fell below the standards expected of a priest. Now this dates back to four allegations of misconduct. They appeared in a national newspaper. There are three serving Catholic fathers and one former priest came forward to accuse him of inappropriate sexual contact with them dating back decades, dating back to the 1980s. As I said at the time, back in February 2013, when they came to light, he denied them and then issued the statement. He then resigned. He has been in a period of penance and prayer, urged to do so by the Vatican, and since then he's also been exiled outside Scotland, so he's not been in the country. An inquiry was ordered by Pope Francis. He sent his personal envoy, the Archbishop Charles Shikluna, to Scotland to investigate the allegations. Now, the decision reached by Cardinal Peter Bryan today comes from a meeting between him and the Pontiff, and that's after this inquiry. The contents of this inquiry, however, are only known fully to the Pontiff and Charles Shikluna. However, as we've been hearing today, the Cardinal Peter Bryan will keep his title, but he can't actually be part of the Catholic Church in any way, shape, or form, so he can only keep himself to private life. He can't act in any way on, on behalf of the Church, he can't attend the public functions. He gets to keep his title as Cardinal Peter Bryan, I think that's because he has been Cardinal Peter Bryan right up until the moment these allegations came to light. However, he will not play a part in any part of the Church. That was more in Scotland.